Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. I'm at the nursery today. I wanted to show you guys what's growing back there. And I also have some help here to get a jump start on organizing for next season. I still have a barn full of mismatched pots, all different sizes, mismatched trays. So what I decided to do today is clean out greenhouse number three, just the dirt that's on the tables left over from just the season and bring everything out of the barn, lay it all out and basically, I guess, take a tally of what I have because I need to start ordering those supplies for next year. So I'm talking about things like four inch pots, five and a half inch pots, six inch round pots, hanging baskets, things like that. Do you hear that? Okay, so I actually found a baby bird here yesterday and it kind of has a sad element where um, I found the mom and she was deceased. She was inside on the ground in greenhouse number three on the sidewalk and I thought it was a fluke. I thought maybe a robin flew in here, got caught, couldn't get out, and then passed away. But then I started to hear basically what you just heard, a loud bird chirp. There's a wasp in here, it's on the window. So if it comes at me and you see me duck, it's one of those like needle wasps with the really long thin abdomen, disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna keep one eye on the wasp and one eye on you guys, okay. Maybe both eyes on the wasp? <laughs> I hate them. So I started to hear that chirping and I thought I was losing my mind because I'm looking up, I'm looking for a bird in the rafters by the barn. Like, I don't see a bird in the rafters by the barn. And uh, I heard some rustling on the ground back where, where the perennials are. And so I spotted a baby robin, but it's not a baby robin as in I just was born baby robin. It's almost close to a fledgling. It's hopping around. It's basically fully feathered. It doesn't have its flight feathers yet, but it's not too far away from leaving the nest. So I thought, okay, the mom is dead. This thing can't feed itself. I have to step in here. And I did some research, made some phone calls, and I just have to take care of it for a couple of days and it will be on its merry way. It's the cutest. It's the cutest little thing. It knows I'm talking about it. It's not ready really. It's very unsteady when it, when it jumps around. It kind of leans to the side a little bit and maybe even stumbles a little bit. So it's not quite ready to leave the nest, but it's really close and I have confidence that I can keep it alive for the next couple of days before it gets its flight feathers and takes off. My camera battery literally died as the hornet is flying toward me. Okay. This is the baby Robin. She's been really good. She's been eating well. He, she, I'm not sure. Hi, sweetie. I, I know I'm, you, I already fed you. I already fed you. So this sweet baby is gonna be okay. It only has probably, see what I mean? It's just, it's not steady on its feet yet. So I have talked to a wildlife rehabilitator and I'm following their instructions and I think she's gonna be okay. Okay, so my friend Lisa's actually in greenhouse number three now. She's just sweeping the tables off so that we can clean in there. And uh, I'm gonna head back there and help her right now. I actually have a meeting at the bank about putting up a new greenhouse in just about half an hour. So I'm not gonna be able to stay long, but I do have more help coming. Help is on the way, dearie. I only have a small amount of flowers left. I have basically this aisle right here. Got some beautiful begonias left, I gotta be honest. And. Uh, and then I have some tomatoes left and that's about it. I have a lot of perennials left though, which is great though, because I can save these for sales this fall and for next season. So let's go in number three. Um, dump them in a contractor bag. There's one right here. Yes. So here's number three right now. Lisa's already, so look how fast she's working. She swept off those tables. And um, then we're gonna start emptying out the barn. We still have um, some dirty pots in here, which a lot of the pots are dirty, but we're gonna wash them. That's kind of gonna be the project uh, over the next few weeks. Now these are stuff that um, we made basically pots out of, hanging baskets out of, Okay, so we're in here and we're basically getting all of the bottoms. I have so many different bottoms. Look, the milkweed grew back. I'm gonna have to get Axel down there and, and pull it out. So many different bottoms and so many different pots that 
I want to have everything matched up this year before I start the season because it takes up so much more time when I don't have things matched up. These trays right here, these bottom trays, I have yet to find anything that fits these here, which is a super bummer because I have, as you can see, thousands of them. So if I can take some pictures of these and send them to um, some folks, some suppliers and figure out what pot goes here. I mean, obviously I have hundreds and hundreds of those, so that would save me money on that end. Just gotta figure out what goes there. Really, I'm at, um, I'm baffled. Okay, so if it doesn't go together smoothly, it doesn't match. I and mean, then you'll take a look at But the top might, but then this one's different. See how that is different? See, that's a plus sign and that's a, a asterisk. Yeah, so these are definitely that. This is this. Plus sign. Plus sign, plus sign, plus sign. All these trays look the same, but they're very slightly different. This pile and this pile is the same. Yeah, this are. one, yeah. This one has a slightly different asterisk pattern than the asterisk that's broken up with a stripe in the middle. And these two both have solid asterisks, but they have different sidewalls, so they don't fit into each other. And this one has a plus sign. So uh, it's just really difficult because they all have different pots that attach to them. So sometimes these uh, different people order different things or they order the wrong things. It's just a lot of stuff I want to get rid of a headache in the spring when I don't have the time. So that's what's happening and Axel's pulling up the milkweed because I told him to. <laughs> My mom just got here to help but I'm nervous because it's it's stifling back there. So I'm going to see if she wants to maybe do something else. Are these two, two, these are basically two different sizes. They right? are, yes. Washing the pots. Washing the pots. Mom, washing the, washing the pots. Washing the pots. A little assistance from Axel, who's going to keep yeah. his back to the camera the entire time. We have been plugging away in here, and I, I'm going to be done for the day because it's about 115 degrees in this greenhouse, but we have a lot of stuff organized. These are all the four and a half inch pots, which are what I use the majority of the time. And then there are some four inch rounds over here. Um, they're, I, I don't like them because they don't do well in my pot filler. So I'm phasing out of these, but I do want to use them up while I have them because I do have thousands of those green pots. These pots right here are the ones that were left over. I inherited them from uh, the previous owner. So I want to go ahead and use all these. I think they're called geranium pots. I want to use all these up and that way I can go over and start using all my square pots. I much prefer using these square pots and these trays because it's flush and there's no gaps or holes and the pot filler works perfectly with all of these trays. Okay, let's go into greenhouse number four and I'll show you the vegetables that I'm growing in there. It's not a ton of vegetables, but it is a good start. This is my first go at, I guess, a hot house. So I thought I would put as many tomatoes as I can fit in there and just a few cucumbers just to kind of trial it this year. The pot filler is still in here and so are the mums, but here are some uh, tomatoes. So this is called a speckled Roman tomato and it's amazing. There's a bunch of fruit on it. Uh, that is basically the biggest plant that I have. But then down here, I've got some cucumbers. Brenda just watered in here, so it's a little bit knocked over, but you can see all the little baby cucumbers we got growing in here. Quite a few of them. And then over here, I have sun gold tomatoes. Do you see them? I am so excited about these. Okay, and then shift up. These are the rest of the vegetables right here in the middle. There's three rows. Those are obviously eggplant. And then these are tomatoes. I'm growing them in, most of them are in two gallon pots. Some of them are in three gallon pots. Some of them are in one gallon pots. I'm just experimenting, seeing how things go got a lot more sun golds down here that are ripening up and then I have the heirloom beefsteak tomatoes and uh, like this is a black crim it's looking really good um, I think I had these all in order these are the super sweet 100s in this row and then down here are the Paul Robeson's 
really excited about the Paul Robesons. I think I only have one Paul. And then over there are the Berries Crazy Cherries, which I didn't get to staking them up yet. And you can see that I'm just using basically string. I'm tying a string at the dripper and then all the way down and then tying it to the plant. And then I'm just spinning it around the plant and it ends up growing up the string. So that's what I'm doing this year, trying it out, seeing how it's gonna go. I'm really excited. Sitting on the ground, You're probably gonna get a pincher. Okay, where are you? So many people requested sun sugar tomatoes and I had never had them before. I didn't know what they were gonna be like, but guys, they're so delicious. I'm, I'm gonna give my mom one. I think that's the best cherry tomato. I think it's my favorite. I gotta give one to my mom. I'm gonna go give it to her right now. I just did a quick count and I have about 50 tomatoes growing in here. So we'll see how much that produces for the year. I would have preferred to have this entire space filled with tomatoes, but we'll see. Because of the little mums, I had to reserve some space for them. I didn't really wanna do that, but. All right, I'm bringing the sun golds to my mom. 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 Oh, what are those? Are they ready to eat? This is called oh. a sun sugar tomato, and I think it's my new favorite. Mm. Oh, you're taking <laughs> that one was gonna be for me. Aren't they awesome? Do you really want this? No, you can have it. There's a few more. <laughs> oh my god. What do you think? You think really good? Yeah, it's really good. All right, I'm like that's on my list. It's fresh. It's so it's I mean it's sun it's are you splashing me? Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, we're going to wrap it up for the day. I am completely drained. It's just so hot in here. We're going to go home. Actually, you want to jump in the pool? Um I do. Mom does. Okay. Well, at least mom and I. You're going to jump in the pool? Maybe. I got a maybe from my almost 13 year old. So I guess that's better than a no. Okay, baby bird. I'm going to go say hi and you can say bye to the baby bird and then I'm going to head out of here. Say goodbye, baby. Say goodbye. Say I ate a bug. I'm a big girl now. I'm a big girl now. So sweet. That video was shot a couple of weeks ago. So wanted to give you guys a couple updates. Oh, the tomatoes are a lot bigger now. I've been harvesting them. I've actually harvested quite a few tomatoes. Um, a lot more heirlooms are, are getting, look, oh my gosh, look at those. They're so, so good. Um, so many cherries, so many berries, crazy. And I finished stringing everything up, everything's strung up. Um, these guys, I mean, this is as tall as me. Wow, that is a black crim. Um, they're looking really good in here. Honestly, everything's super good. I have an eggplant actually, but not, it's not ready. There's a baby eggplant. I'm very excited. I'm actually going to take um, some basil home for dinner tonight. There's basil right there. I've been letting the cucumbers grow on the ground, and this is my new favorite cucumber. It's called Muncher. It's preferred for greenhouse uh, production because it is kind of self-pollinating and doesn't need the pollinators. I've been harvesting these for just two days now, and they're amazing. And true to form, Barry's crazy cherry is crazy. I've got so many of them and they're ripening up and they're delicious per usual. So, so far, so good for the vegetable experiment in greenhouse number four. Thanks guys for sticking around. We'll see you soon. Oh, also, I also wanted to let you guys know that the baby Robin was successfully released. So, good news all around. See you guys soon.